Kat Von D, a renowned tattoo artist and entrepreneur, captured the hearts of many with her artistic talent and bold personality. From gracing the screens of reality TV to creating a makeup empire, her journey seemed destined for greatness. But what happened to this towering giant? Why did she sell her brand to Kendo just a few years after it became the top celebrity brand? Catherine Von Drachenberg, born on March 8, 1982, is a Mexican-American powerhouse, a tattoo artist, reality TV star, entrepreneur, and even musician, she left her mark on various creative fields. She launched the hugely successful Kat Von D Beauty line, now KVD Vegan Beauty, and even has a music album under her belt. This includes Exorcism as the lead single. Born in Montemorelos, Mexico, Kat Von D loved the early stages of her life as a tattoo artist until her rise to fame. The story begins in 2008 when Sephora, a renowned beauty retailer known for its curated selection of brands, recognized the potential of Kat Von D, a rising star in the tattoo world with a loyal following and a distinct artistic style. Kat Von D possessed a unique perspective on beauty that resonated with a specific audience. Recognizing this niche market, Sephora approached her with the idea of creating a limited edition makeup collection this collaboration proved to be a stroke of genius. Fresh off the success of Kat's reality TV shows, Miami Inc. and LA Inc., Kat Von D had a devoted fan base that admired her artistic sensibilities. According to multiple sources, Sephora viewed her as a tattoo artist and a potential brand ambassador whose tattooed, edgy aesthetic could translate well to the makeup world. However, it's important to note that not everyone at Sephora was initially convinced. As reported in various sources, some executives hesitated to partner with Kat Von D due to her controversial past, which included statements and actions perceived as offensive. Despite these concerns, Sephora ultimately decided to move forward with the collaboration, recognizing the potential of her unique vision. The limited edition collection, which launched in 2008, transcended the typical offerings by incorporating bold colors like Trooper, Red Lipstick, and Bauhaus Black Eyeliner, edgy packaging adorned with Kat Von D's artwork, and high-quality formulas that resonated with her audience. This unique blend of artistic expression and high-performance products propelled the limited-edition collection to immense popularity, surpassing even Sephora's initial expectations. The success of the initial collaboration was not simply a one-time stroke of luck. Several vital ingredients have contributed to the brand's enduring appeal. Unlike established makeup brands catering to the masses, Kat Von D Beauty carved its niche. It embraced a mysterious aesthetic, incorporating bold colors, dark shades, and edgy packaging. This strategy resonated with a specific audience, individuals seeking individuality and self-expression through makeup choices. This focus on self-expression was particularly appealing to young adults who identified with Kat Von D's rebellious and artistic spirit. While the brand's aesthetics garnered attention, it wasn't just about the look. Known for her meticulous attention to detail, she ensured the products delivered on performance as well. The formulas were long-lasting and pigmented, and many types of shades and finishes were offered to cater to diverse preferences. This commitment to quality further solidified the brand's position in the market. Kat Von D's established fame as a tattoo artist and reality TV personality gave the brand instant recognition and a loyal customer base. Her large following on social media platforms further amplified the brand's reach, creating a buzz around the initial launch and subsequent product releases. The phenomenal success of the initial Kat Von D beauty collaboration with Sephora in 2008 demanded a long-term strategy. Recognizing the brand's potential, LVMH, the parent company of Sephora, decided to establish a dedicated entity to manage its growth. In 2009, Kendo, an incubator brand focused explicitly on nurturing emerging beauty brands, was born. With its brand development and marketing expertise, Kendo played a crucial role in propelling Kat Von D Beauty to new heights. Kendo's involvement marked a significant shift for Kat Von D Beauty. While Kat Von D remained the creative force behind the brand, 
Kendo provided the necessary infrastructure and expertise to navigate the complexities of the global beauty market. This partnership proved to be mutually beneficial. According to industry publications, Kendo became a successful brand with a loyal following, while Kat Von D Beauty received the support and resources needed to expand its reach and offerings. Hey, I'm Kat Von D, and I'm gonna show you how to do another look from my Spellbinding eyeshadow book. Initially focused on color cosmetics, like the iconic Trooper Red Lipstick and Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, the brand expanded its offerings to encompass a more comprehensive range of products, catering to a broader audience. The brand launched products like the Locket Primer and the Shade Plus Light Contour Palette, venturing into complexion products. Additionally, they extended their product range to include brow products. Recognizing the growing popularity of bold brows, Kat Von D Beauty introduced the now iconic Tattoo Liner and other brow-defining products. This diversification strategy allowed Kat Von D Beauty to cater to a broader audience seeking a comprehensive makeup routine from a single brand, making it easier for the company to go global. Kendo leveraged its global network to expand Kat Von D Beauty's reach beyond U.S. borders. The brand entered various international markets, including the UK, Canada, and Australia, making its unique products and aesthetics accessible to a broader audience. This global expansion was driven by the growing demand for high-quality, vegan makeup options, which aligned perfectly with Kat Von D Beauty's core values. A unique vision and strategic partnerships fueled the brand's rise. However, controversies surrounding the founder and insensitive marketing choices led to declining popularity. The downfall of KVD Vegan Beauty didn't just start with the brand. Instead, it started with the founder Kat Von D herself. Throughout her career, Kat Von D has been surrounded by controversy, with public statements and actions perceived as offensive or discriminatory. Some interpreted certain comments and social media activity by Kat Von D as insensitive and discriminatory. This allegation included, for example, her past relationship with a musician associated with white supremacist views and her sharing of a meme deemed anti-Semitic. These actions led to accusations of racism and anti-Semitism, alienating a significant portion of the brand's potential customer base, particularly those who value inclusivity and diversity. Additionally, publicly expressing her opposition to vaccination, claiming it was not right for her body, sparked widespread criticism and disapproval, particularly among parents and healthcare professionals. This stance contradicted the beauty industry's emphasis on health and well-being, eroding consumer trust and loyalty. Sources claim that Kat Von D has often engaged in public disputes with other celebrities and makeup artists, casting a negative light on the brand and portraying an image of unprofessionalism and negativity. For instance, as reported in industry publications, a highly publicized online feud with fellow makeup artist Jeffree Star further damaged the brand's image. While separate from the brand, these controversies inevitably intertwined with its image. The brand's popularity declined as consumers increasingly associated Kat Von D Beauty with the negativity surrounding its founder. Beyond the issues surrounding Kat Von D herself, the brand faced criticism for some of its product names and marketing campaigns. These issues, documented in various media outlets and consumer reviews, included names like Celebutard Lipstick and Underage Red were criticized for being insensitive and potentially harmful. Celebutard, a term considered derogatory towards celebrities, was particularly problematic, while Underage Red raised concerns about the sexualization of minors. Such naming choices, despite explanations from the brand, raised concerns about the brand's understanding of social responsibility and inclusivity. The controversies surrounding the products weren't the only ones. There were still more behind the curtains. The brand marketing campaigns were accused of cultural appropriation. Certain marketing visuals, such as a campaign featuring models with culturally significant tattoos, were criticized for appropriating elements of different cultures without proper respect or context. These accusations, as reported in social media discussions and industry publications, further alienated potential customers and damaged the brand's reputation.
These challenges Kat Von D Beauty faced extended beyond external pressures. Internal conflicts and departures, reported in various industry publications and interviews with former employees, added to the brand's struggles. Growing tensions between Kat Von D and Kendo, the brand's incubator, regarding brand direction and messaging created internal discord. These disagreements, reportedly stemming from Kat Von D's desire for more creative control and Kendo's focus on broader market appeal, impacted the brand's ability to navigate the increasingly complex beauty landscape effectively. Following the mounting controversies, key figures, including product developers and Sephora executives, publicly distanced themselves from the brand, further damaging its image and credibility. For instance, Sephora, initially instrumental in the brand's success, eventually stopped carrying some of its products, a significant blow to its overall reach and reputation. In 2020, after mounting criticism and declining sales, Kat Von D severed ties with the brand she founded, selling her remaining shares to Kendo. This marked a turning point for the company, prompting a significant rebranding effort. The brand's name was the most noticeable change, transitioning from Kat Von D Beauty to KVD Beauty. This shift aimed to distance the brand from the controversies associated with its founder and establish a new identity. Furthermore, Kendo announced a revised mission statement emphasizing inclusivity, self-expression, and artistry. This new direction aimed to resonate with a broader audience while retaining the brand's core values of high-quality products and bold aesthetics. Beyond the name change and ownership shift, KVD Beauty has undertaken various initiatives to rebuild consumer trust. These efforts include a more comprehensive range of models and influencers in its marketing campaigns, ensuring representation of diverse ethnicities, skin tones, and gender identities. KVD Beauty has partnered with organizations supporting marginalized communities and social causes, demonstrating its commitment to social responsibility and aligning its brand values with its target audience. While these efforts signal a commitment to change, the future of KVD Beauty remains uncertain. The brand continues to face challenges. Rebuilding the brand image takes time and sustained effort. KVD Beauty must consistently demonstrate its commitment to inclusivity and social responsibility to win back consumers who may still hold negative associations with the brand. The beauty industry is very competitive, with many established and emerging brands vying for consumer attention. KVD Beauty needs to effectively differentiate itself and carve out a unique space in the market to achieve sustainable growth. What are your thoughts on Kat Von D's story? Do you think KVD Beauty's rebuilding can effectively remove the negative stigma from its earlier controversies? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to avoid missing out on future updates.